What's cracking, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is going to be a quick update on Matic. Now, the last time we caught Matic, it was looking really good. I do believe we're smack on support. Now, question is, can we hold support or do we break? Well, what's our first go-to go tool, guys? What is our first go-to tool? It is the Mango Dashboard. Start using your indicators, start using your tools to keep you objective. Because as traders, we are going to fall victim to our biases, especially if you're not just looking at a coin, you are in an active trade, you're going to form, form biases around your active position, the direction of your position. Are you positioned to the upside or are you positioned, positioned to the downside? Right? So let the dashboard guide you better. Okay. So now get on over to the dashboard app.mangoresearch.co. Now mind you, um, I'm posting this as a daily video, but now every Matic update that I do, it's going to be minor updates every time price changes. I'm going to be posting it under the premium video section right here. A lot of people have, have been enjoying the videos and enjoying the trade setups that we find and, and, and have been posting. So definitely, definitely go ahead and check it out. Now, as far as Matic is concerned on the dashboard, check out the trend profile. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah, before too, we had short trends from the four hour time frame to the da daily time frame. Okay, and it's it's intact. Okay, the bears are still control in control on those lower time frames. In fact, when you see these positive returns, 11% 11, um, 11 on the four hour time frame, 9% on the 12 hour and 10% on the daily time frame. What is this telling you? This is telling you that, hey, the bears are seeing follow through. Okay, there is a meltdown. In fact, if you guys manage to catch these short positions, you saved yourself losses at the very le least of 9%. Okay, if you took the short on the 12 hour time frame, or if you may manage to well capture profits on the 12 hour time frame. But now, okay, everyone can tell that, all right, yeah, Matic is melting down. I mean, it just takes a pair of eyes to see that this is a red candle. I think what people want to know now, is it going to keep dumping even further? And if yes, then to what point? So let's answer the first question. Can Matic melt down even further from here? Now to get a good gauge on that, I look at the volatility profile. Okay, I wanna see if the volatility is these high red numbers, like 90 or 80. Because if it's 90 or 80, I know that that trend has gotten a little too frothy. It's gotten a little too over the top. And if I see a short downtrend um, being a little too over the, over the top, at that point, I, tr I expect a relief rally, okay? But I wanna see the volatility to match it. Are we seeing 80, 90 numbers on the volatility read? No, we're not. We're seeing volatility range from 57 all the way um, up to 67, which in my opinion is pretty healthy. You know, I, I think that the side, the prevailing side here, wherein we're seeing these volatility numbers, the prevailing side is what? The bears, right? It's short. Short equals bearish. It's telling me that the bears are in control on the four hour time frame to the daily time frame. So when I see these volatility reads, I'm saying that, hey, the bears still might have a bit more juice. So yeah, if they want to take this down even further, they could take it down even further. Okay, but I'll say this. There's one thing that's giving me a bit of pause here. And that's something I want to explore. Because ultimately, as traders, we don't want to be jumping the gun on various trade setups. As traders, we want to take high probability trades. Right? To take high probability trades, guys, you need a trade plan. To take high probability trades, you need a trigger of sorts. You need a trigger as to know, to know when to actually jump into these trades. When are these trades most likely to work out? Now, is Matic giving us that trigger a further downside? No, it's not. Okay, I don't think it's there just yet. And why? Why am I saying that? Well, check out the two-day time frame. I want you to check out this trend. It says neutral. Okay, but if I hover over it, it told me that the previous trend was short. Okay, it was bearish and then it flipped neutral. It was no longer bearish. Okay, this is giving me pause in that when I see two day flip from short to neutral, I'm like, huh, it's catching support here somewhere on the two day time frame. The bulls are stepping in here. Buyers are stepping in here on the two day time frame. Perhaps wait on support to break first. Overarching trend, however, on Matic is still bullish just based on the four day trend and the weekly trend. Okay, what do I mean by that? Get on over to the chart. Okay, let me draw this out for you very quickly and then we'll start analyzing price action. All right, now if this is a trend, this is an uptrend, trends move like this. They don't just move up in straight lines, guys. They do not move up in straight lines. Okay, those are unsustainable moves. Um, and you don't want to sit in unsustainable moves. It gets very, very difficult to, well, temper your emotions and understand when to capture profits, understand when to get into trades. Anyways, uptrends move like this, right? And when you see these little pullbacks here, 
these are minor time frame shorts. So this is when your lower time frames, like your four hour time frame, where's Matic? Your four hour time frame to your daily time frame. This is when those trends flip short. It's telling you that, hey, that's in a downtrend. Okay, this is when your lower time frames flip short, but your higher time frame, that entire uptrend, the macro trend is still moving to the upside. It's still a bull run. This is when this, these macro trends are still long. Okay, that signal is still long. And what are we seeing on the dashboard? 40 time frame to the weekly time frame. That is still in an uptrend. That is still long, telling us that, hey, the macro trend, the bulls are still in control. Alrighty, so that's how you read that trend profile. Now, but we are trying to answer different questions here. Can Matic come down even further? Is this the right time? And just based on what we spoke about last time, guys, no, it's not, okay? Yes, there is a minor meltdown here, but into where? Into higher time frame support. Support coming in at 75 cents, that same region that we spoke about in the last Matic video. Now, in the last video, just a quick recap, guys, we drew out two zones for ourselves. Right, one was resistance to the upside, which is this guy right here, and support to the downside, which is this guy right here. Okay, resistance came in from a dollar and twenty to a dollar and one cent. Take it, take note of it if you want to do so. And support came in from forty-seven cents to thirty-one cents. Okay. Now, the last time we spoke about Matic, I believe we we're hovering somewhere in this mid-range right here. Let me just turn this into a different color. Okay, this was somewhere in that eighty-eight cents or something. And I told you, no, you know what? Matic is mid-range, you could get another dip into a major level, the major level, the major level being 75 cents, this red line that I have on my chart. And what do you know, price has finally come down to that 75 cent region. Now I really, really like this as a bid region, and I still do. And why do I like it as a bid region? Because it's going to be super easy to manage a trade off of it. Now first question is, where did I get um, the 75 cent region from? Well, I'm looking at this region of resistance and this region of support, and I'm grabbing the midpoint from those two regions, okay? And that midpoint comes in at 75 cents. But more importantly, I want you guys to notice how price has acted off of, off of 75 cents in the past. Okay, every time we've broken 75 cents, you see these candles right here? Price found support on 75 cents. Buyers came in every single month in consecutive months for how many months? Jeez Louise, this was a long time. Six months of price just getting supported at 75 cents. Is that a, is that a price point I want to bet against? No, I mean, it's had some historic significance here. Now, this is on the monthly time frame. How about on the weekly time frame? Now, notice, guys, we are about two days away from the weekly close, right? And how has this performed on the weekly time frame as well? Oh, well, you know, exceptionally well. Even though this is a monthly level, this has performed well on the weekly as well. Even weekly closes, guys, consecutive closes over 75 cents, okay? Keeping us on the right side of this. Anyone who jumped the gun on any of their short positions, anticipating further down side on Matic, well, what happened to them here? They got knocked out of their positions, right? Some of them even took a loss. They just waited, waited, waited. That is capital that just got locked up in a trade that did nothing, right? So you always want to wait on those confirmations because it's called the confirmations will give you a high probability trade setup. Now, do we have a confirmed close over 75 cents right here? No, we do not. All right. However, is there any way to anticipate a close underneath 75 cents? Um, given the current price action that we're seeing here, given the, the volatility profile that's telling us that, hey, the bears in control on the lower time frames and they appear to have a bit more juice based on the volatility that we're seeing here. Okay, anything that could allude to that? Yes. Okay, now I'll tell you what it is that I'm going to be looking for. And I speak to traders here, okay? I'm not speaking to you people who are hodling Matic for the cycle. Don't get cute. Matic is still off of its lows. Okay, bear market lows. Don't get cute on your on your positions. Don't try and jump in and out and get cute to just um, increase your position size for by another 10%. Okay, it's stupid to lose position like that. Okay, so I speak to only the traders here. Now, um, what I would be looking for, what I think will give us the earlier tell on Matic wanting to come down even further is if we lose these wick lows right here. Okay, I want to look at the lowest point in this entire range. Where's the lowest point, guys? It was this candle. The lowest point of this candle was the lowest point of this entire range on Matic. The lowest point came in at 72 cents, 0. Uh, 0. 0.7206. That is the lowest point. If Matic comes down to take out that low, I want to see it sweep that low clear as day. I know that, hey, the probability of Matic coming down even further has increased. 
Until that happens, guys, you cannot expect for lows. In fact, what the, the region that Matic is sitting on right now, 75 cents, this is a great bid opportunity. Just think of how easy it is going to be for you to manage any trade off of 75 cents. You know historically how well it has done. I just showed you. Okay, if we break that region, you know that you're wrong. You get to essentially exit on the retest. And oftentimes, you don't have to wait too long to figure out if you are wrong. That rhymed unintentional but it rhymed but you don't have to wait too long to figure out that you are wrong and more importantly you get to take a minimal loss if you are wrong i will be um leaning towards price sweeping these lows for me to be like okay matic wants to come down even further because at that point sweeping the lows here would trigger two other things okay let me take you on over to the daily time frame it triggers a bearish pattern i'm sure you guys are seeing it already okay one, two, three. What is that, guys? That is a head and shoulder. That's a bearish head and shoulders pattern, right? It's got a drooping neckline right there. But also notice, beautiful, beautiful. Um, notice when it gets triggered, guys. When only when price sweeps these lows, the white line that I've drawn out for you, does that bearish head and shoulders pattern trigger. If I go ahead and take the mesh and move of the bearish head and shoulders pattern, plot it on the break, where will that take Matic down to? We're looking at that next region of support at 47 cents. Okay, that is the measured move of um, the head and shoulders pattern. But more importantly, there's one more thing that it's going to be triggering at that point. Now, on the weekly time frame, it's saying that Matic, the bulls are in control on the on the weekly time frame. It says long. It's giving us a long trend. In fact, you know, I mean, the, the, the price action supports that, right? If you just get into the, the mango chart right here, just click the chart button. It's going to take you on over to the mango view, which is a mango charting feature. And I want you to get on over to the weekly time frame. Okay, by the way, you have access to more time frames on the mango view for free okay if, especially if you guys are on free trading view accounts definitely check out the mango view if you want um, information on can closes say from uh, the four-day time frame two-day time frame i don't think that's available to you on um, on the free trading view account so yeah just a heads up it's a cool nifty feature but anywho we're looking at this range right on the weekly time frame let's go ahead and put on our swing highs and swing lows that's going to basically help us identify the trend there okay what are we seeing on the swing highs and swing lows we're seeing a lower low that got put in right here, okay? This was the low came in at around 49 cents. Then we had a higher high. Then we had another higher high. You can say that this was a higher low too. All right, and this is another higher low. Higher highs and higher lows is the signature of an uptrend, guys. Okay, so yeah, we're still in an uptrend based on um, the trend profile on the dashboard. Right, however, we're seeing potential bearish divergence here. See that? That's potential bearish divergence. If I take you on over to the chart, breaking this low here would trigger that potential bearish divergence. Bitcoin is sitting at $42,000, okay? All I'm trying to say is that, yes, you're going to find ebb and flows in price action. You're going to find price meltdowns even on your old coins, but I'm saying always wait on confirmation. As traders, you want to be informed traders, right? You want to take those high probability trades. That way you are not just deploying freaking capital into dead trade setups because anyone who deployed capital here in this range, think about them. Think about what happened. They're like, oh, I'm going to short this to the ground. I'm going to capitalize on this range right here, which would net me a good... What is this? 35% to the downside. That is an amazing, amazing trade. I'm going to take the trade. What happened to them? How many months did they sit in that trade for until they had to just cave in on the loss? Right? So it's stupid. Don't, don't waste capital on dead trades like that. Wait on those confirmations because you're able to reap a lot more and reap those profits a lot faster. Okay, so this is your... Um, this is your analysis on on um, on Matic, okay? So watch out for this low right here, 0 0.7206. That is what's going to tell you that a hey, Matic could come down even further. But for now, the current zone of support, which price is currently sitting on, 75 cents, has been a historic bounce zone, then a historic break zone, okay? So do not jump the gun on Matic. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's analysis on Matic. I will now see you in the next update. With this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Chat, you guys.